from the conservative leadership election. Now, to date, there are four declared candidates and five registered candidates. And perhaps the one getting the most attention is Kelly Leach, whose proposal to screen all prospective immigrants for anti-Canadian values has won her both support and criticism. Kelly Leach is in her Ottawa studio, and she joins me now. Uh, Kelly, good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning, Jeff. Thanks for having me on your program. All right. First day of a new session of Parliament. The Conservatives just back from a caucus, I know, uh, out east. Uh, you were first elected back in 2011, and I was just wondering, was this one a little different for you, I mean, with your colleagues and specifically the relationship between you and inter interim leader Ronna Ambrose, who has spoken out against your campaign and the Canadian Values Test? No, not at all. You know, the great thing about being a conservative is that we have open discussion. People have differences of opinions, and then we move forward together as a united team. And so I'm proud to be part of that team. I think that uh, Ron Ambrose is doing a fabulous job as our interim leader, and I'm looking forward to working with my caucus mates over the course of the next uh, number of months. No problem at all with uh, Ron Ambrose uh, speaking out uh, that the interim leader was injecting herself in, in a way into the leadership campaign? Well, look, I, I understand the, the desire for people to have a comment with respect to uh, what I've proposed with respect to Canadian values. But, you know, more importantly than about my own caucus mates, I have a significant concern with regards to the position of the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister has stated, you know, that there is no core identity. There's no Canadian identity. And I think that's dangerous. I think that there's... I have serious concerns with that. You know, he has his immigration minister... Mr. McCallum, out talking about how there's divisions in the Liberal caucus on this issue, on the issue of immigration, and how we need to integrate.